everybody and thank you for tuning in. Today is going to be kind of a special day. It's going to be the first day that we are taking our uh, new to us Peterbilt 388 uh, pulling our Koza trailer. You guys have seen this. We've had it for about a year now but we haven't had the truck to pull it properly and to detach the neck properly um, so we were limited to only taking stuff over the back. Uh, now that we have this truck we are fully operational and ready to um, detach the neck and everything like that. So we have a approximately like 75,000 pound excavator that we're moving today with the truck. Uh, we're also going to be moving a uh, Cat 938 loader in the with the land also. Uh, Darl's actually run these types of trailers before, so he's going to be the one uh, running this truck, and I'm going to be you know here obviously learning and learning from him on how to do that. And then I will be in the Blue Pete uh, with the trailer pulling our land all. So let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer over here, and uh, we'll get to the job site and get it loaded. So as I said, this is a Cozad 44 ton Expando trailer. So as you can see, this trailer is actually spread out. Is it spread out all the way right now? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the trailer is spread out to 10 foot wide. What that allows us to do is get 60,000 pounds on the rear axle, uh, or the rear trailer axles, 44,000 and change on the drives and 20,000 on the front. Uh, we don't have a 20,000 pound front on this truck, so we can't get that, but uh, that is what our permit's good for, per se. Uh, we, we're just limited by the tire and the axle. Um, as you can see here, there is 16 tires, so there's two rows of eight. That's how we get that 60,000 pounds. That's why this trailer is designed to hold that type of weight. It's obviously a lot lower as well, so it uh, allows us to haul bigger and better things. Here's a look at the inside of the truck. As I said, this is a new truck, or uh, sorry, used truck, new to us. I mean, you can literally eat off the floor of this thing. I, we thought this was a really good buy. Uh, 2010 with uh, let's see I think it's got 371,700 miles so I mean this truck's just in immaculate condition the customer that we are the uh, person that we bought it off of we were looking at some of their other trucks just immaculate really good buy so we're happy with this purchase we got these wide load signs that are magnetic that we're gonna be using now on this truck since pretty much everything that you haul on this truck with the exception of a few things are uh, gonna be a wide load and being that the trailer spread out to 10 foot right now we're considered a uh, wide load so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the wide load size on there's Tommy and he just got back with the Kenworth from uh, Calipatria calling a uh, D4 dozer down Calipatria had to be there at 6 a.m. Uh, looks like he's back that's good Another example of uh, how we're not just a towing company, I always like to say that because I, I just feel like our company is much more different and uh, diverse than just, like I say, just a towing company. Uh, these are camera trailers. These, uh, This company reached out to us and uh, basically we have a agreement with them where they bring us these trailers, we offload them off a trailer, uh, store them in our yard and deliver them to the customer and uh, set them up. So um, this is kind of what you see in like a Walmart parking lot. They got like the blue lights on the top, they got cameras on them. So yeah, they're pretty cool. Solar panels just allows uh, more surveillance and pretty neat system. So that's just something we've been doing new, uh, new to us, but it's something that we've been doing. So not just towing coming, pretty cool. So uh, Darl is off on its maiden voyage. Um, we're gonna head to the scale house, well, the uh, cat scales at the truck stop, probably Tierra Loves, 
uh, and get this truck lightweighted. Um, we've never, like I said, this is its maiden voyage. So uh, we're gonna get the truck lightweighted, get an idea of what it weighs empty. Uh, that way we kind of have a relative idea of its capacity, its payload. And then uh, we're gonna get a uh, scale ticket of it loaded as well once we uh, come back through. So uh, we'll see you at the truck stop. I'll talk to you guys when we get there. Okay. For those of you that don't know, and excuse me, I don't have much zoom, but there's three sections of the scale. There's a scale that the steer tire sits on, there's a scale pad here, and then there's a scale pad back here. And so what that allows you to do is get weights on here, weights on your drive axle and weights on your steer axle. So I'll show you that once we get it. All right, everybody, so we got our scale ticket. This is telling us that the steer axle weighs 10,060 pounds, the drive axle 16,100 pounds, and the trailer axle 11,900 pounds, with the uh, total gross weight uh, being truck and trailer empty, 38,060 pounds. So that tells us that we can put approximately like 49 and change on the trailer because we can get 60 on the trailer, we can get uh, 46 and change on the drive. So do the math there. It's like about, we can put load about 30 on the drive and the steer is pretty close already. It's already uh, 10,060, we can go to 12 there. So um, yeah, that's the numbers that we got. We're gonna go ahead and load the Hitachi 330 excavator and uh, bring it back to the scale and get a reference on that. That way we have an idea of what this trailer is capable of. So uh, with that being said, let's get to the job site and we'll see that. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, we, we broke it down a few times. Yeah, it's like, you good there? I bet. <laughs> On that black container, yeah, I'm sure. So the main thing with this is that if that drops below there, you're screwed. It's like right there, it's perfect, perfect height. Emily, right? Yeah, yeah I hauled that excavator, right, for you, like about a year ago? The... You know what, I've never been here when you guys come No? Go. Okay. I, it was, was, do you have a partner or something? No, it's, I'm the only female. Really? Okay. It was me, it was me, but... Okay, yeah, I, I think I hauled it up there um, out of, um, what was oh, it called? Yeah, yeah. Snow Creek, right? Off, yeah, off my water. Mm -hmm. yep, yeah, me. okay. Yep. Yeah, I thought I recognized you. That was Usually I don't meet them here, so I'm like, right, right, yeah, yeah. Five. Oh, really? <laughs> It's 
pretty big bucket. All right, so a lot happened there and I didn't really explain it and I apologize because that was the first time uh, we've done this, but uh, what you have here is a mechanical breaking neck. So what we did was we broke down the neck as you saw. So now the, uh, I guess, trailer end of the Kozad is down on the ground and we have our excavator. So we're gonna track that to the front of, the, of it, lift the tracks up with the bucket, track it onto the, onto the Kozad and walk it onto the trailer. And then we'll reverse that process. We'll back the truck back to it, uh, lock it in, unhook from it, lock the collars and the pins, and then raise it back up. So that's what we call a mechanical braking neck because there's no hydraulics involved. It's all ramps and and uh, and that. So um, let's go ahead and get this excavator loaded and see what happens. Pretty much gonna ride on this inner inner track on the inner. Yeah. this you're gonna end up being here so we're gonna keep coming like that and then I'm gonna take you back that way go back. Okay. It's actually going to pretty much end up pretty close to that, Darl. I mean, you don't have much. You got room, but not that much. <laughs> yeah, it takes weight off for sure. Two inches.
it pretty much looked like when you pulled out from it right now, it centered itself. Yeah. Yep. All right, so this is the test right here. We're gonna be lifting 75,000 pound excavator with the ramp, so it's our first, first go at it. Get tucked up and close to you. I don't know, everyone, everyone that I've talked to says it makes a difference if you get it all. In case you fall. get kicked out this way. That's good. See if you can get that up higher. Danny, can you get that up higher? All right guys, well that was the main event. Um, we're gonna load that 938 loader. Um, so I'm, you guys have seen me do plenty of those, so I'm just gonna keep the video to this. So we will see at the drop off when we get this and we'll go ahead and offload that. So um, yeah, we'll see you in a bit.
All right, I got my uh, sombrero on. <laughs> it is so hot today uh, and humid. But anyway, uh, I'm already pulled out onto the street here. Darl's coming right now. I'm gonna get a good shot of him pulling out. We're gonna go run to the truck stop again, get a weight with the Hitachi 330 on, and that way it's you know in our files and we have a record of it. So um, we're gonna be taking this unit to Palm Springs as well with my 938 loader and offloading Palm Springs. So uh, you'll see a few short clips in between here and then, and other than that, we'll see you in Palm Springs. drop-off here in Palm Springs. Darrell's already working on chains and binders. I'm gonna go ahead and help him out, get that offloaded, and then we'll unload the loader really quick. Probably keep that, keep the video rolling for that, and uh, yeah, we'll get out of here. Darrell Young. <laughs> they don't care about basketball here. Oh, okay. First step is disconnect. All right, so as you'll see, he's gonna pull forward, it's gonna ramp down, and touch it. You know, if you didn't tell me that, I don't know how I'd have, I would have done that. I would have disconnected a trailer. I always forget that every time I drop trailers. So. You also got to disconnect the airlines. Only the red one. Blue one is optional. You want to pull the pin down here? You and forgetting pins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Check for power lines. That's that's important with these big ones. You get up there pretty quick. Is it you loaded it forward or you loaded it reverse? Or is it track? Great. Coming from the guy that forgot to release the fifth wheel.
think I'm gonna have to set myself down or just let it? Huh? Bug it down? Teeter. off the tongue that allows us to adjust the pan. That's how we do that. enjoy the video as always like comment subscribe thank you for watching let me know in the comments what you thought about the video and we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching guys